All right, if you're looking to use ClickUp to make a hierarchy chart or an organizational chart, you're in the right place. We're gonna jump right into it. So um, I'm assuming you're already in ClickUp or you're using ClickUp. Um, what I've done is just set up a test space with a test list. Um, and you can go about doing this a few ways, but what I'm just gonna show you is from the list is setting up a view and we are going to make a whiteboard. Um, this is one of the ways that you can do it and that looks decent. I'm not gonna pin it or do anything interesting. I'm just gonna create the whiteboard from scratch. Um, they do have some you know, flow charts, concept mapping, some other stuff, but we're just gonna do it from scratch since there's not a uh, org chart. So uh, a few things off the bat, I'm gonna go into how to do this right now, but there are ways we can import, which will become important here in a minute. So let's start with a basic shape and I'm just gonna use this rectangle and I'm going to put my name at the top. And then let's resize this a little bit since that's ridiculously large. Okay, so now we've got that and I am going to Control C, Control V. Uh, if you're using Windows, copy and paste it. You can also right click on these and copy or just duplicate. Um, and I'm gonna move these um, down. We are going to make a very simple org chart um, because as you can see, this is a pretty manual process. And while you do get some nice you know, alignment features, things like that, um, this can get uh, could get messy real quick. So let's click on connectors and we're gonna drag between shapes, all right? And you can see right there, things are already gonna get a little weird. So let's now connect it this way. Now we've got this going on, which right away is like, okay, that doesn't work. What you can do is click on the connector type and change it to an elbow or change it to a straight line. In this case, straight line probably works. And let's go ahead and change that other one. Now, if uh, we wanted to add more, um, of course you could just come down here and copy and paste that. And we'll do that again and add a couple more. So. Um, if I use the direct connector, I have found that um, you can do that, but it only connects to one. Um, so I generally just go with deleting that and using uh, the ribbon over here to then connect these shapes. So let me finish that real quick. And as you can see, we have something resembling an org chart that probably wouldn't be your uh, the thing you want to use in the end. I think for very simple layouts, uh, you could do this, um, or you could just use you know a bulleted um, list. Like let's go back into um, here and just to add a description. I think this is just would be more effective to really make a bulleted list, um, like uh, CEO, and then we have CFO, CTO right just doing something like that um, but if you really want to have the visual um, way to do it then what you could do is import and you can make these in google docs google google sheets um, google slides and so for example it'll show you a preview so potentially you could import um, a google sheet uh, that has one or just take a screenshot doing it somewhere else and, and add it in here right now might be the best way to do it. Again, if you have a very simple uh, org chart, you could certainly do this. Uh, but if you're uh, making something more complex, that could become a problem. So um, I'll include some links down below. You can see how to make uh, org charts in Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Slides, a bunch of other areas. Um, and then hopefully this helps you with whatever it is you're trying to do in ClickUp with organizational charts. Thanks for watching.